here we go. Graphics, why is the resolution so big? Graphics, yes. Oh, switch so lock on target. Yeah. Display sync rate value? I don't know what that means. Sprint hold. That's good. Convert that. Don't reset the Y. Also, hang on. Oh, it starts everything off at half. That's good. Prefer things doing things this way, though. Vibration intensity? Turn that down. Classic mode. Classic mode, it says. Basic special spell frame, which, I don't know, is that a parry? Is it ability? Heal, I guess. Switch items. Use an item. Use item buttons. Weird. Jump with L3. Jump on L3. What are we doing here? Interact and check. Switch weapon. Roll dodge. Sprint. Okay, so what's action mode? Ability switch weapon. Okay, so that's a more general, more classic action game where the face buttons to attack. And custom. Uh, I guess I'll have to see how the game plays. Because, uh, like, the whole reason that Dark Souls has the attack buttons on the shoulders is so that you're able to move your camera while you're attacking things and moving around. Right? The, the only problem with Souls layout is if you want to run while moving the camera. It's kind of difficult, but otherwise. Just see how it goes. English American? Lead, leading on, subtitles on, HUD display. I like that on. Yeah. I like, I like to see the HUD there. I want to know what my stuff is. When hostile units are nearby, the branch will deactivate itself to pre prevent being spotted by enemies. In this case, you cannot activate it. We're using a lot of nouns here. A lot of terms. That's really just basic functions, but they're given a weird name. I hope this uh this doesn't always take this long to load cuz I just I don't want to have to put this game on my SSD.
Okay, this is a problem. Huh? Oh, we're getting sounds. It's trying very hard. I just wish that it worked off a hard drive but maybe those days are over maybe it's compiling shaders Nope, oh, there I am. Classic Souls protagonist, face down in the water. Seventy percent is this of what? Okay, I'm pushing the jump button and nothing's happening, so... Gotta roll. Got my Bloodborne Punch. That's a guy. Attack. Charge attack. Okay, heavy attack does not combo. Also, I don't see a stamina bar. Sync right. Syncrate represents the quantity of mud energy available to you. What does any of this mean? Syncrate reaches a maximum of 100%. Syncrate is categorized into multiple levels, which directly determine a blader's prowess in battle. Empty energy attacks steal much less damage. Energy level 1 attacks steal standard damage, and at energy level 2 attacks steal more damage. Hitting enemies with basic attacks increase your sync rate, while getting attacked reduces it. When your sync rate drops to zero, you will enter a weakened state. Wait. Hmm. Home run swings? 
Was that consumed by a sink or something? I'm getting really slight frame rate stutters. It'll drop to like 50 FPS for just a split second, and it sucks. Is this Unreal Engine? Mudball. Left and right to switch items, down to use item. Use it to restore a small amount of life over a certain duration. Oh, we got life gems. What could possibly go wrong? I guess that could go wrong. I am magically still alive. What if I left? So you got, ooh, you got the Bloodborne dodge, actually? I just noticed that. Just the fact that it has a Bloodborne dodge already makes me like this game. too much. Sink. I'll, uh, I'll come back to that. Use rolls and dodges to evade enemy attacks.
Upon acquiring a new weapon, you will learn its skill. I want to R1 to use skills. Using a weapon skill costs mud energy, resulting in a decrease in sink rate. When your sink rate is at level 2 or higher, your weapon skills receive a greater damage bonus compared to basic attacks. When your sink rate level is empty, your weapon skill will not function as intended. Okay, so that's what this is. Step kind of thing. Still can't jump, so I'm gonna guess that jump is a mechanic and not like a Elden Ring platforming kind of jump. It is interesting that the game has no stamina, which tells me that they uh, they kind of figured out that stamina doesn't really matter in Souls games that much. You would think it does, and it kind of can, but you get to a point where you're so used to what your stamina lets you do that you just kind of ignore it. Oh, okay, R1 to backstep. neat. Yeah, this is very Bloodborne. I'm in the boss fight now. Neat. Railgun. Spell. Spell refers to techniques that utilize mud energy to generate various effects. Equip spells in the equipment menu to get additional aid in combat. L1 plus R2 to cast spells. Casting spells cost mud energy, resulting in a decrease in sync rate. When your sync rate is at level 2 or higher, your spells receive a greater overall bonus compared to basic attacks. When your sync rate is empty, you will not be able to cast any spells. This is actually 
This is actually a cool system. I like this system. Like, I feel like this is trying to solve the mana problem. Right? Because Souls was, uh... Dark Souls 3 and onward, they kind of gave you ways to use your mana for melee builds. In a way to, like, get that system to work for other play types. And it, the weapon art system's good, but uh, I think this is a little more elegant. Where you, uh, you don't even have to really think about it too much. Lord Asteria. Oh, finally, a nascent blader. Blader? Yes, thank you helping us deal with the void. The void? You're here looking for branches, right? Then go and meet the branch weaver. Her lordship is waiting for you. Please go. There's not much time left for her lordship. <sighs> Thanks, old dude. Railgun, 25%. Okay. Orbs. They look like eyeballs. Could this be a Bloodborne reference? Who knows? I kind of just want to get to a bonfire equivalent. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Welcome, Seeker of the Branch. There's your waifu, Mash. I'm Isteria, the Branch Weaver. I've been waiting for you. It's a pleasure to know that you've arrived safely. What's this place? An ancient underground drainage tunnel, deep underground in the south region of Havenswell. Is this... A branch? As you see, this branch has been damaged since long ago. Please use your power as a blader to restore it. <laughs> she's tall. I mean, I know she's floating. She's tall. Tall lady. You may discover and repair branches scattered throughout the world. While resting near a branch, your life and sink rate are fully restored. Additionally, it replenishes life dew and other items stored at branches. 
Please be aware that all defeated enemies will respawn after the rest. Bladers can teleport between restored branches. In addition, you can enhance your abilities, enhance your weapons, and perform other actions at a branch. Good to know. Great. Okay, got two... Two level ups. Start at level 1, so probably no class system. Fine by me. So, life is... Life points directly? Stability, which I don't know what that is. I assume everything gives you defense. Yeah. Everything gives you pierce resistance, too. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. So, resistances are cycled automatically. Vitality is conversion. Strength is strength. Technique is dex. Spirit is spell power. Okay. So, I'm going to make some assumptions here. We got the, your, your four usual stats. Health, strength builds, dex builds, spell builds. And then this one, it looks like, I'm going to guess conversion, increases the rate at which you gain sync. Also, probably... Oh, wait. I can look. It'll tell me, won't it? Doesn't really tell me what I have selected, but okay. Current hit points. Concentration. Determines your ability to raise sync rate through attacks. Increases as your, con as your conversion raises. Higher conversion results in a higher sync rate boost. Determines your ability to... Typo there. Ability Yo stabilize your synchronization rate when attacked. Increase level. Attack a weapon one, attack weapon two. Power of your spells. Defense against physical. Your total defense is the sum of defense from all armor and additional effects. Fire, electricity. And shatter attacks. Resistance to poison. Resistance to piercing effects. A higher value slows down the accumulation of the piercing bar. Total resistance is the sum of resistance from all armor and, and additional. I assume the text went off screen. Okay. Yeah, so this is pretty basic. It's like a really pared down souls. get for this two only two attack that's not a lot but it may be better once I get a different weapon I, I'm gonna go with life rusty longsword I want to go back to that guy I really want to kill that guy. And now I have the... a spell. So I can just blast him from... outside the room. It'll be great. Kinda wish X wasn't run, but... Okay. not that different from souls, I guess. I still gotta claw it.
be good. Be good. Hey, buddy. Pal. Friend. Let's test this out. 200 damage? That's okay. Classic Bloodborne move. I'll heal. It's a big heal. I can't hit his hand. Oh, grab? This is a bloodborne enemy. Like, I think he's got a couple extra moves, but yeah, this is bloodborne attacks. Star Beast. He's stuck. There we go. Let's pop another heal. Finish this guy off. Definitely do it. Oh, the okay, the bolus has come back. I wasn't sure. It's not your uh, it's not your typical Estus flask. Actually, can I? Three of three, yeah. Despite their disgusting taste, they provide satiety and minimal nutrition. Information not yet publicly available. What does that mean? Not allowed in the demo? Throw four to trigger an explosion upon impact. That's a fireball.
I kind of wish the camera was more aggressive. I also noticed that um, I don't lose my energy when I die. Drop souls. Ooh, that's that's a really good throw arc. Luminous carbon. Okay. I'm gonna guess that's a good weapon upgrade material. Another level up. Um, go with that Elden Ring build. All of it. Okay, the boluses are not, the mud balls are not the uh, Estus, because uh, I guess I just had some in storage. What? What am I supposed to do here? This way, the branch is functional once more. Now please, take this. 
This life dew will mend your body. There we go. It will be replenished once connected to the branch. Please make good use of it. What happened? Tell your vision at the branch. When I touched the branch, I saw a strange vision. In the vision, I was in the water, and there was something huge glowing in the distance. But I couldn't make it out. What just happened? Perhaps it is the memory reserved in the branch. Your lost memory. My lost memory? Keep seeking branches. And one day, you will be able to retrieve your memory. Seeking branches? Leave this area and proceed to Heavenswell. To truly understand everything, you must embark on the journey. For this purpose, I am offering you a parting gift. Now, make your choice. Seek, seek, branches. Ooh. Okay, maybe this is kind of your class selection so you got normal sword two swords or big sword I've always been partial to big sword but we are doing bloodborne's combat system Yeah, and this is also giving me a stat boost. So I guess this is basically your class selection. I should have... I should have got my Estus and uh, grabbed one of these weapons before I went back to that guy, but oh well. Information not yet publicly available. Thanks. Fine combo, swift stabs, brute combo. Special attacks, a jab. Is it thrust? Dashing slash or whirl, aerial whirlwind. Vertical slash or roundhouse swipe. I don't know how you can go wrong with 160 uh, attack. Uh, okay. Big sword? Sure. We'll see how big so, sword does. You have accepted your first mission. The path ahead is open. It is time to proceed. Go meet humans. Find the scattered branches and restore them. As this will be the only salvation for this broken world. Life do is restorative item generated by branches. When you rest at a branch, your life do is fully restored. Press up to up to life do. What's up, life do? Oh, you can aim it. Yeah, you, so just like souls, you can aim the swing.
Lord Asteria has warned us. The area down here is plagued with the void. Just stay away from it. Why did you have to mess with that void beast and end up getting wounded like this? Well, there is nothing worth scavenging in that dump. Huh? A new face. Go find yourself a spot and don't bug me. If you don't want to get gobbled up, stay away from the mud. I have to admit, it's kind of funny that, like, humans look pretty normal, but both the androids so far are just anime characters. Good old elevator. That's how elevators work. Big spin. That guy had a pipe. Portable ignition. Ah, fire paper. Howdy, fella. Oh, while sprinting, press L3 to jump. So Dark Souls 2. I can do that too. Spin so good. Forge steel blade. Oh, it requires eleven technique. Okay. So it's a long sword? Oh, another one of them. You want to escape to the surface too? <laughs> How pathetic. There's no escape. The monster is still there. No one can escape. <laughs> oh, we got an eye thing going on.
Throw it forward to trigger a magnetic surge on impact? What does that mean? Oh! Buddy, hello! Mechanical part. Traveler's outfit. Cool. Got clothes. That's a big guy. You know what? Uh, you just go ahead and do that. That thing looks cool. Is that its hand? I think those are hands and he's like holding on to the edge. That's neat. Branch fixed. Let's do one tech so we can use that weapon. Okay, that does two damage now. Still like health. Okay, so that's just a long sword. But a solid one. Must be opened from the other side. Must it be? Must seize the moment. Release the force field. To counter! <sighs> Too hard for me. Gotta get out of here quickly! 
Counterfield. Counterfield <clears throat> is one of the basic abilities accessible through the spell frame on your left arm. Activate the counterfield at the precise moment when you are about to be attacked to counter most attacks. Big parry. Success. Successfully countering an enemy's attack will cause them to enter a weakened state. In this case, you'll have a chance to launch a fatal strike to deal massive damage. Okay. Ooh, counterfield costs ten percent of your sink. Okay. We've gotta do it early. isn't like a rally system or something similar so um it doesn't really incentivize me to be as aggressive or to parry like bloodborne does so i think it's kind of unfortunate um maybe maybe there will be like a an upgrade i can get for the counter attack to heal me or something There's a big guy again. Like, in Bloodborne, you could trade like that. So if anything gave you hyper armor, it was pretty much just guaranteed to be good because you would get your health back as long as you don't die. Maybe that's what they're worried about here. Not jumping that. Oh, you know what? Before I go too far, I want to go back to the first branch. And I want to drop down that pit. Eh, maybe I should go ahead. I don't know.
use your weapon with electricity. Nice. Hi. Hello. Why are you standing here? Are you trying to attract the void here? Get lost! Are you trying to attract the void here? Get lost! Are you trying to attract the void here? Get lost! Okay. All right. Oh, I think that is a little bit faster. Okay, so... That is something. But I don't know how to get back up, so I want to go a couple of rooms and see if uh, there's a branch. That massive thing is actually climbing up. I'm worried Mr. Blau is stuck up there, and I wonder how long that platform can hold. We must find him before the platform collapses, or at least we must get the key back. Okay. Well, that's not a save room. There's an item box, though. Don't even think about laying your finger on what's stored inside. Even if you sell the stuff to those ignorant rabbles on the surface, they won't pay much for it. And remember, you swore an oath. Even with Lord Asteria gone, we must continue to safeguard this armor until... Oh hey, is this a shortcut back to... Yeah, we're back to the branch. I mean, you gotta open it, right? Leader armor. There we go. There's your, uh, your cover art look.
So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way first. Ow. What? Something broke above me. Mud collection site number five. Please proceed upstairs to the equipment room to receive the key from the administrator. Note, to prevent the emergence of the void, only a maximum of two people are allowed inside at a time. It's locked. Is this gonna be like a whole area? I thought it would just be like a secret. guy up there. Okay. Serrated halberd. Huh. It is a different weapon type. Buddy. Timetable for Mudball Maker. Oh! Pal! Friend! Seven the plow. Seven the Blau family. Eight white deceased. Nine mute. And at ten tiny bones. Are they just trading the mud ball maker around? Yep. Hey, where are your tools for making mud balls? You won't have anything to eat. 
if you can't make mud balls. Just won't have anything. Something about the roll animation feels floaty. Like the animation itself feels slower than other animations. Oh, we're back here. I just didn't see this room, I guess. Okay. So we got a weapon for that. Um, is it worth upgrading strength? Like, for the purposes of the demo, I don't know. Do more health, and then at some point, I'll do some strength. Enhance? Oh, I can. I can get better sword. Better, bigger sword. More swordier. So the serrated halberd has more attack. I don't know if I like its moveset. I'm just gonna stick with the great sword for there. For uh, the demo. Hmm. Guess we're going to see if this kills me. Oh, wait. I know where this is. I'm an idiot. This is the tutorial. Okay, so should be about at a real boss soon.
Get out of here. Three mechanical parts. Oh. Won't have to deal with him for a while. Reservoir key. I think that's where the dogs are. I I think that's progression. Must be opened from the other side. Disappointing. I also don't remember her saying anything was locked, so... Shield? Shield is one of the basic abilities accessible through the Spell frame on your left arm. Your shield provides a continuous defense against enemies' attacks at the cost of mud energy. L plus square, switch frame ability to shield, then hold L2 to shield. Provides complete protection against the enemy's basic attacks and a certain degree of defense against elemental attacks and ailment effects. Blocks. Blocking damage reduces your sync rate and your shield will shatter when your sync rate is too low. Blocking attacks accumulates energy for your shield. Once your shield is fully charged, it will become overloaded with diminished defensive performance. In this case, you can use Overload Blast to unleash its energy, triggering an explosion and restoring a certain amount of sync rate. Double tap L2 when your shield is overloaded for an overload burst. Cool. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's a blader.
cool. Blader return. Okay, so I got the blader swords. So we're one of the other starting weapons. Can't use them, but I can try them out soon. Oh, just having it up consumes uh, sync rate too. Pop a life gem. it seems that's three carbon now yeah one more and I can upgrade again There's a door. Uh, guess we're gonna go see what's in the pit. Oh, wait, no, there's another way here. This way. Probably goes down. What's down the secret pit?
There's four. Okay. Oh, there was that door with the lady behind it. I wonder if I can unlock that. I don't know. I don't know. Gave him no pause. Bone crackers. No. Oh. New dual blades. Possibly better? Lore has completely lost it. And that kid downstairs, and the masked guy I met earlier. Can't we even have a peaceful life down here in the sewers these days? What is Lord Asteria planning by hiding in a place like this? bodies. A lot of mechanical android bodies? Oh, it's, oh, it's the sentries. Elevator? Okay, that's a branch. That's a branch immediately before a boss arena. Big old boss arena. Alright, so we'll get... Uh, we'll get boss done, and then it'll be... Pretty much time for outbreak. Your shield maintains its charge even after you rest. That's cool. I didn't think they would do that. Down? Oh, a bunch of ungrateful brats. As soon as her lordship perished, those wretches just ran away. And they all got killed by law. Ha! They deserved it! They all wanted to go to the surface. But that's heaven swell. Where the weak will only fall into prey. That's horrible. I'd rather die collecting mud. Vending machine? Excuse me? A possum's vending machine.
So they sell for a hundred, but I can buy them for a hundred five. Why would I ever do that? There's also no reason not to sell those because you don't lose your uh, your souls when you die. Oh, that's enough for some level ups, I guess. This blade is shiny. They glossed it up. Two more. R1. Alright, so like everything he does is a two hit, two or three hit. I should just be prepared for a three hit combo each time. Oh, okay. You do lose some of your souls when you die. Maybe a percentage. But they're just flat out consumed and not dropped anywhere.
Ow. Alright. Probably can. This is the point where I, uh, kind of think faster weapons are better. So even though the dodge is fast, it's got a uh, it's got a longer cooldown. Its cooldown's a little bit longer than like uh, Bloodborne would be, so combat's a little bit slower. Do I not have eye frames?
phase two. Not block command grab. Oh. So I was kind of hoping that the um, the shield overload would give me back enough sync that I could like block and then do a special move and get my sync back with the overload, but it doesn't look like it does that much. Um, it's easily enough to make up for the loss by blocking, so I'm not really concerned about losing sync by blocking. But I, I don't know if it's enough to, like, make your way back up easily.
I wasn't sure how the back step on the overload works. I've dodged a lot of attacks with it, but I don't know if that's because of my... what it does to my hitbox. Why am I doing that? Or part of the back step, or what? Just hit him, please. Nuclear air drop from powerful enemies. Acquired nucleus can be directly equipped. Your equipped nucleus determines the amount of crystals gained upon defeating enemies. Sink rate, boost rate, and the percentage of crystals lost upon death. Nucleus cannot be removed, and when you replace your nucleus, you will lose a portion of crystals. Use rare crystal nucleus to exchange for special items at merchants. Merchants. What does that mean? Oh. Nucleus of a void entity who was deteriorated and lost its blader form. Contains a strong destructive will, resulting in a distortion in its crystal structure. High absorption rate, but uh, really bad at maintaining it. Can I, like, go back up? Can I leave? No? I can warp back to it. Oh well. I don't really have time to mess around too much. This is uh, probably the end of the demo. You know what? Go 12. And we can look at the dual blade moveset. a green line.
You know what? Motion blur might be okay. Actually, did it even turn on? Yeah. <laughs> cool game. You like to fill out the questionnaire. What does it do? Boss challenge mode has been unlocked. Boss challenge? In this mode, you can challenge a mid game boss, Hunter of Bladers, in the official version of AL and experiment with various weapons, spells, sets, as well as a comprehensive array of frame activities and seals. All items available in this mode are customized for this mode and do not entirely reflect the content of the official version of the game. In this mode you may use Notepad to check the tutorials for new abilities. Your game progress in this mode is not saved. Once you finish the challenge you can re-enter it via the main menu and accept the challenge again. Is this a hunter of hunters? Ooh. What the heck is this? Materialism. Corrupted blader swords. Big damage. Stator nucleus. Ooh. Lightning bolt. One of the basic church spells. Lightning hammer, ignition. Oh, okay. So you get a sword buff as a spell as well. Also, sync rate's 100%, but we've got a purple bar now. I'll test dummy. Ah! Honed lightning. All right, sorry, uh, messed with my mic a bit there. I really had to cough. Oh, 
Also, I just noticed that you you get the um it's not really exactly the same thing, but Bloodborne had um a trick weapon attack where when you transform your weapon, you get a do a unique attack for it. This has a similar thing, but it's with weapon swapping. So you can combo into a weapon swap. That's cool. Ah, they have their own sync rate. Cool. Oh, she's cool. I do feel like some of these dodges should have worked, though. I'm not sure if that's an iframe issue or like a dodge distance issue or if it's a me problem. She can do wheel too. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Okay. Alright, well. 